Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Timmy Treacle, and here's today's top 10 list. Yeah, today I'm doing my top 10 favorite Jason Bateman films. Jason Bateman uh, started out uh, doing some pretty bad films, uh, Team Wolf 2 to, uh, uh, to point it out. But over the years, he has done some fantastic films, a lot of memorable films that uh, I just love and just watch over and over. So without further ado, this is my top 10 favorite Jason Bateman films. Coming to number 10 is Dodgeball. Now this film, he doesn't have a big role in this film. Uh, it's mostly towards the third act, but his third act in this film by far is, is hilarious. He is calling the Dodgeball games with opposite Gary Cole and his character's uh, Pepper in this film, and he is just hilarious in this film. And the, the lines he has and delivers, it, it's just amazing. I love uh, the film Dodgeball, and I'm really wishing he had a bigger part in the film, but nonetheless, with the part he was in the film, he did a great job, and it was really funny. Definitely worth being in my top 10. Coming to number nine is Hancock. Um, him playing opposite of Will Smith uh, as Hancock is phenomenal. Uh, he delivers uh, in this movie. Um, I love the fact that his wife he knows uh, not a whole lot about after she uh, lets him know that she's actually a quote unquote superhero as well. But in this film, a lot of people don't like the destruction and everything that. Uh, uh, Hancock causes when he's going to save people or help and basically Jason Bateman's character is brought in to help him with those issues and it's a, it's a great film I really wish uh, they made a sequel uh, I'm hoping in the future they do make a sequel because I loved that uh, film Hancock and uh, definitely worth a top 10 spot in my opinion number eight is I'm probably gonna get a lot of crap for this one but it's horrible bosses too I love both these films. Uh, you'll see later on where the other one lands. But these films are hilarious. And the three main guys in these films, Charlie Day, Jason Sudeikis, and Jason Bateman, are phenomenal. They play so well off of each other. The characters are hilarious. Uh, and yes, Kevin Spacey's in these films too. And uh, despite what is going on in his personal life and what he's accused of being, uh, have done in the past. Uh, I still love him in films, even though he's being blackballed in Hollywood right now, like most of them are, and they haven't even been found guilty or anything. It's just there's accusations, and that's one thing I don't like about our justice system and how we view people. Uh, it is innocent until proven guilty, but getting back to the movie, I love this sequel. It's a great uh, follow up with these characters. Jennifer Aniston in this film. Again, to me, uh, steals the movie. She's so funny and just gorgeous. And Charlie Day, Charlie Day's character and Jason Sudeikis uh, are just phenomenal. I, I really enjoyed the sequel and definitely worth being in the top 10, in my opinion. And like I said, these are my top 10. We're all going to have different uh, opinions and everything. Uh, Coming to number seven is the animated film Zootopia. Again, this is an amazing animated feature and a surprising one for me uh, when it came out. Uh, I believe it was 2016, if I'm not mistaken. I can't really remember. But it is a, a funny film. Uh, one of the best animated films that's come out this decade uh, in the 2010s. And... Uh, I can't say enough about it. If you haven't seen it, you definitely got to check it out. It's a great movie. Number six is Necessary Roughness. This film came out, I believe, in 1991, I believe. It was the early 90s, I know for sure. Uh, this film uh, stars Scott Bakula as a middle-aged uh, farmer who was a quarterback in high school who turned down uh, scholarships to play college football and he ends up getting recruited to play for this Texas team and 
what ends up happening is they have to play both ways. Jason Bateman's character is in the film. He's a student uh, whose father is also a big money uh, donor to this college. And he gets on the football team. And, but his character in this film is funny. Uh, he's not a main star in this film. But for one of his early works, this is one of the better ones. And it's just funny. Jason Bateman is just, he, he's really funny in this film. And he has, a, he has some pretty good lines, too. Uh, so definitely check out Necessary Roughness. It also stars Rob Schneider um, from Saturday Night Live and a lot of Adam Sandler films. Uh, coming number five is Identity Thief, uh, starring opposite Melissa McCarthy, which is freaking hilarious. She basically steals his uh, identity and spends all this money charging stuff. And basically, he's got to track her down and uh, basically bring her in to take the fall for what she has done. Uh, and, well, actually take responsibility. I shouldn't say take the fall. Take responsibility for what she has done. It's a funny film. Melissa McCarthy's hilarious alongside Jason Bateman. They're, I love their chemistry in the film. And... I think it's just a really funny film. Number four is Starsky and Hutch, uh, also starring Vince Vaughn. And then the two main characters are Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson, who played the lead character, Starsky and Hutch. It was a 70s TV show. This film is fantastic. You have some great cameos, too. You have Will Ferrell. You have uh, Snoop Dogg plays Huggy Bear. It is a great uh, homage to the uh, 70s show. Uh, even though I never did watch it, I knew what it was about. I never did watch it, but the film is funny. Amy Smart is in the film too. She's so beautiful. Uh, I, I just I love the characters. I love the film. Uh, the car, the, the classic car they drive, is amazing. Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson are fantastic. Their chemistry in films is great. In the Meet the Parents uh, trilogy and uh, Zoolander, it's just. They're phenomenal together. I really hope they do some more movies in the in the future. It'd be really great. Uh, number three is Game Night. Yes, that movie just came out this year. It is freaking hilarious. Jason Bateman uh, stars opposite Rachel McAdams. It is a funny, funny film about people playing games and they get caught up in this what they think is a murder mystery kidnapping game and. Uh, turns out they they uh, bit off more they can uh, chew in this film, and the whole cast is great. Uh, they did a really good job with this film. It's really funny, one of the best comedies definitely of this year so far. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend you watch Game Night. I do believe I have the review for that film on my page, so definitely check it out if you get a chance to. It is a fantastic film. Uh, one of Bateman's best. Coming to number two is Couples Retreat. That is from 2009, starring uh, John Favreau, uh, of course, Jason Bateman, Vince Vaughn. It is a funny film. Basically, all the men in this film are having troubles with their marriages uh, or relationship. And so they go on this retreat, which they think is basically a vacation uh, retreat. Turns out that it is couples counseling retreat, and uh, they have to complete all these different areas of their counseling and all that. And it is just so funny. Jason Bateman, Vince Vaughn, uh, it is their chemistry is hilarious. I love love this film. Uh, uh, the rest of the cast is great. The female cast is great. I can't remember. Their names to, I can't believe I can't remember their damn names, but uh, they're an amazing cast. Um, like I said, the leading ladies are great. So the, some of the best scenes are when they're uh, doing their, I think it's uh, stretching exercises. And if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but it is a funny film. Uh, like I said, Jason Bateman, Vince Vaughn, John Favreau, just a great cast, great film. Very funny, and I highly recommend that you watch it if you haven't already seen it. And my number one favorite Jason Bateman film is, I discussed the sequel earlier, that is Horrible Bosses. This film, oh my God, 
I've never laughed so hard since uh, The Hangover, the first Hangover movie. Uh, Jason Bateman is set to uh, take over this company, but his boss dies suddenly. And so the uh, uh, son uh, ends up taking over the company and basically becomes an asshole. So they get this plan together where they all hate their bosses and they want uh, each other to kill each other's bosses. And they scout and plan all the stuff they think to a T. But a lot of hilarious things happen along the way. Uh, again, Kevin Spacey is funny in this film. Jennifer Aniston is so gorgeous. She plays a dentist in the film. She is the boss to Charlie Day who she keeps sexually harassing every day and he's happily married and doesn't want any of her advances and it is just so funny. Jason Sudeikis uh, is funny in this film as well. Uh, those three, their chemistry is just amazing and Jamie Foxx in this film, even though he has just a little uh, cameo, he plays motherfucker Jones and it is so funny. I, I can't say enough about this film. It's definitely one of the best comedies of the 2010s. And matter of fact, it's my number one of the 2010s, in my opinion. And I'll probably get some hate for that too, but I don't care. Uh, that's my opinion. But uh, uh, yeah, it has an all-star cast. I really hope they make a third film to finish the trilogy, like they did with The Hangover. Although The Hangover 3 wasn't as good. The first film's phenomenal. It's a perfect film. The second film was very good. It was basically kind of the same thing as the first film, but there was a lot of different things with it, with it too. But yeah, so definitely check out Horror Losses and check out the top 10. And other than that, that is my top 10 favorite Jason Bateman films. So in the comment section below, let me know where are some of your favorite Jason Bateman films and let's talk about movies. I love talking about movies and top tens and let me know that there's some Jason Bateman films that you've seen that you think I haven't seen and yeah let me know what they are and I would definitely like to check them out I'm always looking for uh, newer or older movies to watch I'm always doing reviews on older films as well as long as and as with the new films as well um, and just remember I don't get to see these new films till that are out on DVD, Blu-ray, or available to rent because I am not able to get out and uh, get to the theater like I'd like uh, in my situation. But I still watch the movies and do my reviews and I'll go back and listen to all older reviews from Jay Vader's, Chris Stuckman, um, several others that I follow on YouTube. So uh, other than that, I thank you guys for watching this top 10. And I will see you guys uh, next time in my next top 10. Don't you go changing.